thankfully my phone died and my cats were on me so I was trapped and I couldn't escape. So these are all of the entries. Best books of 2019 Goodreads Awards thing. And there's still a lot of like positivity rolls in here. Positivity rolls. That's how you should call your back rolls if you have any like me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you must be joking. <gasps> what? This is perfect for some antisocial cocoon time. What are you doing? <laughs> what? 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 I'm not editing this out, but... Hello, welcome to the new vlog. Let's read. So, I, I've read a little bit, well not a little bit, for my recent page. <laughs> so I read to the page 209 and I started at like 160, so that's what, like 50 pages, uh, which is good for an evening. <laughs> but I am getting a bit more into it, I think I just need to like have the headspace to like sit down and read like I did a bit yesterday. Thankfully my phone died and my cats were on me so I was trapped and I couldn't escape. Um, but I thought I'll update you because actual progress. Wow. <laughs> and it's only Tuesday so I could make this week pretty good, although... I'm getting a bit of a headache today already. It's my lunchtime. So uh, yesterday also between editing and everything, I also spent like at least like an hour <laughs> putting all of the entries from the previous, well, not the previous, but the one before vlog where I put the giveaway. I did not know so many people are gonna enter. So I went through all of the um, comments and manually put them on the list. So we currently have 274 entries and cause I do want to do more giveaways in the future, but I might find, might have to find a way that's a bit more reasonable than like actually just leaving a comment because <laughs> this took a while. <laughs> but I'm super excited to use this random generator to now see who has won. So, so these are all of the entries. So I'll just have to press here and it'll pick one. So let's go. Yay. Congratulations, Holly. You are the winner of this giveaway. I really hope you like the goodies. I will contact you directly on Instagram to ask for the shipping address. I actually love hosting this and I really hope you enjoyed the goodies and thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos. If you didn't get picked, uh, don't get discouraged. I will have another one really, really soon. Uh, maybe even next week. I don't know. I just need to find out if I can find another way of doing this so then I don't have to manually put the list in. <laughs> I could I think I know a way. I'm gonna clean up a room, I think, a little bit because it is a hot mess. Just finished work and I am just about to go into these envelopes for the G's Army Patreon tier and um, hot stamp them. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna play myself this one hour relaxing Harry Potter winter dash Christmas music because, listen, fitting, very fitting. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with that, so I'm happy that that's um, sorted and ready to go. I also need to get the giveaway sorted and also the giveaway winners of the Moonlight Library for the bookmark set, so I can take one big trip to the post office and send everything together. Um, I'm getting a headache, which is very annoying because I just want to like not have one for a week. 
that would be nice. <laughs> I've been also doing a little bit of a listening of um, the toll. So I'm currently just at the end of chapter six, but honestly, I don't know what's happening. I feel like I just didn't focus properly, but I also don't kind of don't want to re-listen to the whole thing. So I'm gonna carry on, but I'm again, try pay more attention but I just feel like there's a bunch of characters that I think I just don't know I just want to go back to the ones that we know from the second book I, I I find it a little bit agitating when books do that when they throw new characters in when it's like way into the story I'm like there's a reason why I continue with series if I wanted to learn a new world I would start a new book and I know it's like a small thing but you know how I did that first chapter challenge and I said that actually one of my least favorite parts of the book is the beginning because I don't feel like it's just effortful and I don't feel connected I don't enjoy that because it's to me it's effortful that is how it's feeling now which is so annoying because I I loved the second one I feel like we're just not getting any of the previous characters like we had like tiny bit of one of them of Grayson at the beginning and but that's it I feel like I'm either like zoning out too much but I feel like I'm zoning out because I don't know what they are and that's also why I usually try not to go for audiobooks of the first book in the series because then I feel like I zone out too much because I my attention just doesn't click um so if I knew that this is going to be like a new a, a separate new book I would have gone in for physical so feeling I'm just feeling angry because I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Happy Wednesday, my dudes. Um, Oh my god, so yesterday I had that bath and I don't know if any of you guys, I know a lot of you guys also have anxiety stuff. The, do any of you have this thing where you want to be a bath person and you really enjoy the baths? Um, I feel so relaxed if I get the temperature right, like majority of the times I don't have any issues. And like I'm so relaxed, but then afterwards it's happened like one too many times for me to just like be like, oh, it's a coincidence. Afterwards, I feel like really bad and my anxiety is through the roof or I don't know if it's my anxiety, but my breathing is like, ugh. So yesterday was quite a bad night. <laughs> I did, I did however have a very nice bath when I did, when I did not feel bad in it. I watched Cody's vlog and Jade's vlog, so thank you girls for providing me with stuff to watch. <laughs> but afterwards I felt really bad um, and I actually slept really poorly. So I put a little bit of makeup on today to like feel better because I actually have a uh, lunch date with Aideen. So I'm leaving quite soon because it's almost lunchtime. But just before that, I'll let you know what I started reading because, and I would have definitely <laughs> finished this yesterday if I wasn't feeling really bad. I'm, 100, I'm on page 154 of this, of how... I don't want to lose my page, but it's The Witch Boy. It's called The Witch Boy, right? Yeah, The Witch Boy, a uh, graphic novel. And it's all about this, like, not a secret society, maybe a secret society, but like secret family, more of, like a couple of families, uh, where every girl is taught magic and every boy is supposed to be taught shape-shifting to fight the demons and um, but we're following Aster who is the main character who is a boy but he thinks he's really good at magic and really wants to study magic but everyone's like really frowning upon that and don't let him because it's not it's not how it's supposed to be so far so good cute the juvenile I think it is supposed to be pretty young I was enjoying it I wanted to continue but um again I felt really bad yesterday so I did not but and I'm gonna go get proper clothes on because I'm sad in my pajamas <laughs> and get ready for lunch. Hello I thought I'll go in here and record the best books of 2019 Goodreads award thing because not that I've read many books this year let's be honest <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to just go through it and see how many things I don't even know existed. Um, So fiction I've only heard of a couple of things. I ain't gonna vote on anything here. Um, mystery and thriller. I... Oh, The Silent Patient. Where's Recursion? I like that one more. But I think that Recursion might be science fiction. I don't know if it's nominated, but... Um... 
So the thing with Goodreads Awards, like obviously I have like to, to actually cast my vote properly, I would have to read everything in the category to like compare with one another. And a lot of the times with my reading speeds, I will have read like one thing on the list. Um, so my thing is, that I think I'm gonna vote for it if I truly believe that, you know, it's like top notch. So whilst I really enjoyed Silent Patient as I was reading, because I was reading it very quickly, I just don't think that it needs to maybe win. I don't know. Let's go to historical fiction, which I don't think I've read any. Oh, Daisy Jones. Hello. Did not ping that for historical fiction, but okay. <laughs> Again, have not read the rest, but I'm going to vote for it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Evelyn Hugo more, but... Fantasy, the big one. Um, Georgia Martin stuff. Dark Dawn, have not read yet. Ninth House, have not read yet. Cassandra Clare, not a fan. Ooh, the, the Nora Roberts controversy one. <laughs> um, Sean McGuire, Middle Game. That's the only book that I think I will give it a go from that author because I really didn't like the rest. Uh, I have that one. Ooh, The Starless Sea. I don't think I've seen that cover. I've not read yet. Kingdom of Copper, have not read yet. Also have not seen that cover yet. Holy Sister, Fire of the Orange Tree, Dragon Republic. Wow, you know the year is going well when your favorite category you have not read anything of. That's great. At least I like to recognize them, I suppose, but I am gonna not vote on anything. Romance, I don't reckon I have read anything. Um, oh, Red, White, and Royal Blue. I think I, I gave it four stars, if I remember correctly. I don't think I'll vote on it, though. Um, I just don't know if there's better things out there. Science fiction. Ooh, recursion. The test. Oh my god, I'm gonna right-click on it so I remember to get it, because I really, really want to read it. I love... This is the author from The Sleeping Giants. I really want to try this. Yeah, I'm gonna vote for this. Don't reckon I have read anything horror this year. Um, not from the list, for sure. <laughs> Humor. Uh, it's usually like all, yeah, biographical things. Is that the same author that wrote This Is Going To Hurt? Yeah, I didn't know he had another thing going. Let's go non-fiction. Again, I really doubt I will have anything from here. Nope. Even less so from the autobiographies. Mm -hmm. Wait, why is Michelle Obama stuff not here? Science and technology. That's really cool, actually. I want to check some of these books out just because it's. I think it's a topic I would enjoy reading about, but just never go for. And it's good to have like that kind of list. Hmm. Food and cookbooks. I don't even know why I'm pressing on this. Now let's go to graphic novels. <laughs> Okay, Bloom, I'm actually getting soon. Mooncakes, I'm so annoyed. I finally got, like, and book, booked it, ordered it on Amazon yesterday. The thing about this is that it's, like, it's gonna ship in, like, two to three months, and it's unavailable everywhere else, and I'm like, how does one even get hold of this? I feel like they've done so much PR for it and, like, hyped it up, but then, like, how does one actually get to read it? I don't know. I would have read it by now. And it's not available on Kindle. Sad. Heartstopper. Um, might get to the fence as well at some point. I did read How Dark Shade of Magic. The Wiccan and the Divine. I think I'll continue with this, but I need to find it in like a library. Did not know that graphic novel and The Handmaid's Tale was a thing. Ooh, Adventure Zone. I haven't read the second one yet, but I have read the first one and I have read... Oh no, I have not read the fourth one. I read the third one of the monstrous, but like I love the art, but the story was a bit laxum. Okay, so I think from these, I'm gonna hold on until when is this for? Because I I, I want to read Bloom and if I if I could actually nominate one, I would probably go for um my brother's husband, but it ain't here. Don't know why I clicked on poetry. Who are we kidding? I really don't like poetry. <laughs> Debut novel, okay. Um, Silent Patience on here. Serpent and Dove is on here. Also Salt and Sorrows. My sister's, my sister the serial killer. When the Flame. 
red, white, royal, blue, Queenie. Did not know that Silent Patient was a debut novel. I think I'm gonna vote for this. Mm, I don't know. No books that I feel particularly strong about, like four stars. Did I really see it over four stars? Young Adult. Oh, this is the fiction fiction, so I won't have read many of you. Um, or none, actually. How is Capturing the Devil not in fantasy? In YA, I go for fantasy. Ooh, Curse So Dark and Lonely and The Wicked King. Uh, Serpent and Dove again, Finale, The Gilded Wolf, Supernova, Call Down the Hawk. Ooh, I need to read that. Let me open that in another tab. Sorcery of Thought. No, 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 no. The Tall I'm listening to now. I doubt it'll be five stars, though. I am actually gonna go for Crystal Dark and Lonely. It was the biggest surprise, I think, for me this year, and I just had such fun time reading it. So I'm gonna vote for that. That went by quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna go get back to work. <laughs> but I thought I'll do this quickly with you guys as a break. Hi. So, um, actually my postman at the P.O. box messaged me today saying that there's a very, um, decorative parcel that arrived and there's another one that's waiting for me. So I kindly asked Logan to stop by after work because he is working from Glasgow some days today. So I was kind of on the way and he did. Um, and so I have two wonderful packages to, um, unpack and honestly it couldn't have arrived at a better time um because i'm feeling a bit low today i'm feeling a little so i have this oh my god can we just take a moment to like actually look at this packaging this is my p.o box please don't worry <laughs> um look at this like i can you guys and there's another box as well it came packed in this like protective wrap so my cat's in bed now if he sees these. And then there was Momo. <laughs> so let me open that one first. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's so like simplistic. What? It says, you are magic. <laughs> you are magic. Oh, this is gonna get really annoying now. But also they're playing, so I don't want to stop them. This is a care package. Thank you so much, B. I know I haven't opened it yet, but I already love it and I can feel the love. And your presentation skills, like, wow. <laughs> like it's a little dried flower. How sweet. That's right, box. I can't take it either. <laughs> Hope the light's okay for you guys to see as well, but oh my God, okay. So first up, this adorable inspiration cards designed by B. Oh, so she's a designer of some sort. I was wondering why, like, because there's like um, the sticker that came in here, like, was really beautiful. It says made by B. So I'm thinking maybe B has a shop or something. Ooh, oh, these are so cool. This one says, I am made of stars. This one's create space for magic to happen. I love the simplicity. Never forget how capable you are. That's so pretty. Your magic manifested. <laughs> I love that. Is that from a book? Is that What is that from? This one says anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. By Ginny Weasley. <laughs> I had to take like a double take that I read it correctly. These are so lovely. <sighs> oh man. Then we have a face mask. This is a detoxifying face mask by Glow Lab. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, so there is skin food one, pomegranate and peach. Oh, I love those. Vitamin C. Um, oh my god. This one says Astrid Apothecary. Interesting. Oh my god, there's like little rollies here that have like um, sayings inside. This one says, I choose to honor and trust myself. And she written them all. This one says, I don't need to put so much pressure on myself. I can take a break. <sighs> Honestly, I should tattoo that one because as much as I say and advocate that, I feel like I am still the worst at that exact thing. Oh my God. Okay, so first one says, Mandrake Root. Oh God, oh God. It's fine, it's fine. It didn't break. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe cinnamon sticks inside. 
Then we have Gillyweed. This is a very awkward way of showing you guys. But butter purpose, I'm, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. All of Spain, I am one step closer to making a Polyjuice potion. I don't know what to turn into though. Oh my god, it's so cute. And there's a little note saying, thank you for choosing to shop with Aster apot Apothecary for magical goods, potion ingredients. All products are lovingly gathered and packed here in New Zealand. May you use them well, Astrid. Tentacular leaves is also here, but oh my god, tangalians per piece. Oh, I, lo I love it. And there's like some uh, leaves inside. Oh my god, I love the detail. I love the Harry Potter goodness here. <laughs> this is so sweet. Ah, uh, B, you are amazing. Okay. Hand stitched Hogwarts banner. Oh my god. Roll out and leave under some books to flatter for a few days. Hand stitched? This is so cool. I need to find a place to like put that. Look how cool. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, you guys are all so talented. Okay, then we have some Gryffindor socks. Oh my god, these are so nice. This is the exact red color that I love for Gryffindor. So on point and they feel so nice. These are like the nicest Gryffindor socks I've ever seen. And then, then there's also a little cauldron. <laughs> um, the cauldron of kindness. Aww. So sweet. I could put my um, ingredients in this as well. There's so many of these. <laughs> I kind of want to leave them so I can like put them in a jar. I have a jar that's like positivity jar. Um, I can put them there and I actually can like take one out on a bad day or like a rougher day. Nutty Mr. Maple. Organic salted almonds and maple chunks and a dark chocolate truffle. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, that looks amazing. I'm gonna have this probably today. <laughs> Little forks for your key ring. This is gonna go straight onto my key ring. Thank you so much, I can't. Oh my god, the positive thoughts are everywhere, which is <laughs> amazing. Oh my god, there's so much work came onto this. Like, I can't, I don't deserve you guys. Next up, we have for Momo and Zeus. Hey guys, where did you go? What is this? Are they, are they toys? <laughs> are these sushi toys? What? <laughs> Sushi plush, excuse me. Look. I can't handle this, it's so cute. These are stunning, hello. And this one says, G's self-care night. Uh, a night of magic and relaxation, fill your cup. Put on pages and comfy socks, light a candle, journal, get it all out onto the paper. And then we have journaling prompts. I feel overwhelmingly loved. Thank you so much. I don't know what's even and then there's two little crystals oh my god okay so we have the amethyst and we have a citrine here um a little card for what they mean and what are they used for and there's still a lot of like positivity rolls and positivity rolls that's how you should call your back rolls if you have any like me <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm honestly at the loss of words. This is so incredibly nice. I am really, really fighting hard not to cry. And I would already be in tears if not for my headache because when I cry, it makes it worse. So I'm really trying here, but you're making it hella hard um, in a very positive way. I just feel so much um, gratefulness for this. This is incredible that some other person would do all of this for me. It's just a little mind-blowing. Um, so thank you so much and um, it's so kind of you. Like I honestly don't deserve you all. I said I won't cry. On to the next one, not that my little heart can take it. I feel super bad opening this because of the exterior but we shall try. <laughs> Yay, I can still put this out. <laughs> You guys have no chill. I understand that likes cold to like, but <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, this is what this looks like. Contain spoiler, maybe open last. The presentation, oh my god, okay. I mean, how are you gonna make me open this? It's so pretty. <laughs> Please don't freak out, contains fake spiders. <laughs> 
appreciate the warning. Thankfully, not afraid of spiders, but when taken unawares, I probably would have gotten a fright. Oh my god, how cute! What is this? So this is like a box, and it says Neville Longbottom on here, and it has the fake spiders. <laughs> what? This is so stunning. What in the hell? <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Stop it. I really should have opened these two things on separate days because this is not okay in one go. First of all, this box. Second of all, I remember all. I remember all. What the, what the hell? <laughs> what in the name of Merlin are <laughs> you guys doing to me? Oh my god, how cute. So it has like tiny spiders in here as well. Or is it? Ants. It's tiny ants. <laughs> well, fake ants. And it says toad treats on here. Um, then, oh my god, it has candy wrappers. And if I think I know, this might be for the parents. I'm not sure. Um, then there is a key, which I'm thinking is a Hogwarts key to a vault. Yeah, it says Gringotts here. To a vault 529. Oh my god. Everything so... Yeah, it's gonna be Neville collecting the wrappers. Um, Gillyweed, a popular thing this t um, today. Oh, we have some seeds! <laughs> so we have Devil Snare, keep plants in a dark room, stay relaxed in the nature plant presence, keep tendrils away from your neck. Mimbleus Mimbletonia, can we talk about this? Can we just talk about the whole presentation? Like, beware when product boils will squirt, stinks up. Mandrake seeds, and then venomous Tentaculous. Ooh. Remember? Ten galleons uh, leaf. This is so pretty. And there's also the last thing is a note. Oh my god, it's all of the it's all of the um it's the passwords Neville wrote down. Oh my god, this is amazing. Did you make this? Did you make all of this? How are you guys even alive? How are you a thing? I am constantly in awe. I don't know what else to say. Like this is insane. Talk about the whole idea and also this box. Like, what? This is so pretty. Okay. I suppose we will move on. <laughs> Honestly, having heart palpitations now. Another adorably awesome wrap, uh, package. <gasps> Bezoars! Oh my god, like... With these boxes, I don't know. I just love them so much. Like, they're so pretty. Um... So this is in case of that other plant. I now have two Bezoars. Hell yeah. I kind of want to know what's inside, but I, there's no way in hell that I will ruin the package because like, well, the wrapping, because can we talk about it? It comes off as blue in camera, but it is purple. <laughs> so beautiful and so magical. And there's the last thing other than the scroll. Also, this ribbon is so beautiful. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so special. Okay. It has like a Hogwarts symbol here and S's. Either Sirius or Slytherin. I'm thinking maybe Sirius. Ooh, or Snape. Oh my god. Ooh, you must be joking. <gasps> what? You guys are gonna give me a heart attack. Oh my god. So there's a letter here. This is gonna be Snape's for sure. Um, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay. Property of Severus Snape. Can we jest? Okay. Oh, it's by the list. So it's actually, ooh, I like that idea that it's like numbered rather than named. Uh, Acromantula Venom. There's a little bit. It's extremely valuable, so obviously has to be tiny. Then we have number two, which is Venomous Tentacular Leaves. You guys should be friends. I don't know if you are friends, but the people who send this should be friends. <laughs> I mean, we're all friends, but you know what I mean. That's how... Oh, pretty. Then we have number three, which is Mandrake. Then number four... Look at that. Look at that top. Wow. Um, which is powdered bicorn horn, which I think is maybe like cinnamon or something. Number five, ground lace cap wings. 
number six last in this row is boom slang skin number seven is that green liquid which is gillyweed so there's a little bit in the bottom can we just oh we have more of the ants i think pickled ants um then we have oh this copper thing that's really cool which is um veruta serum oh y'all better watch out now <laughs> number 10 this oily substance is essence of dittany a little bit of polyjuice potion is that of snape's and last but not least wolvesbane jesus these are all so stunning oh, i just love how they look like together this is like Probably as close as I get to being like a proper potioner. This is absolutely amazing. Lastly, to the scroll, as you guys know, I don't read the letters out loud because I think it's a bit personal. Oh, and the bubble wrap and tissue paper are both recycled. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. A small early Christmas present. Excuse me, this is massive. This is not small. This is, you know what I'm gonna say, it's too much, <laughs> but like, it's amazing. I got the wrappers correctly. Yay. I didn't want to jump to the conclusions, but like I suspected this is Erica and I was just wanting to wait until I read the name so like in case I'm mistaking. But Erica has a very, very, very specific, amazing style of presentation. I think that honestly Warner Bros. Studios should hire her like yesterday. <laughs> so Erica is the one that sent me the Hermione bag and I still have the box. I don't know if you can see it. I still have the box there um, because I don't have a proper way to showcase it but like I love the box and I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get rid of it in any way. So I kept that. You are a actual wizard of all things magical if this is not proof i don't know what would be it is so amazing i am lost for words neither you or b had to send me anything obviously i want to make that very clear that no one owes me anything no one needs to send me anything that being said oh my god has made me feel so full of like gratitude. i'm gonna cry again can we not? <laughs> Full of gratitude is just insane. I am also so in awe of you both for being so talented and so, um, so in awe of a lot of you at home for being so talented because I know you are. I honestly think that we have such a unique community here um, that is so not judgmental, so welcoming. When I see little things like you guys commenting on each other's comments down, uh, downstairs, <laughs> down in the comments and like when I just see you all being so encouraging to one another and to me is just <sighs> thank you so much you're both so incredibly talented and just generous beyond belief I'm gonna go clean up a little bit but I'll be back showing I'm um, giving my cats those um giving my cats these <laughs> because we have to test these out hey momo momo is curled up on Logan's lap but we have gifts for you. Do you want? We will keep. Would you like some Zeus? Okay. <laughs> Would you like this? Would you like sushi? How cute. You're gonna lick it? One more is incredibly cute. You're gonna pour it? <laughs> Yeah, you like? Wanna eat it? Hello, it is Saturday, but I want to show you something before I kind of go over of where the hell I've been um, and what's been going on. You might have actually seen this in quite a few videos and posts because I think it's kind of going around. I got an email from a company called Emposia. It has a really fun box. I appreciate the pod there. <laughs> Random note. Yeah, they make these uh, really cool bookish blankets with like a hood. If you would ask Logan, he'll tell you that I basically walk everywhere with a blanket around me and I feel like if it had a hood, it would have a better, better staying power. 
They kindly sent a blanket for me to unbox, but they also have a giveaway. So let me unbox this and then I'll tell you about the giveaway. Yeah, okay, let's go. So they have, I think, like eight designs or something like that. Oh, there's a card. Oh, it's a washing guide and um, color design and color warranty. Oh, that's cool. One year design and color warranty. That's really cool, actually. I don't think I've seen that in any um, bookish subscription, not subscription, sorry, <laughs> um, companies. That's how it looks like here. There are, I think a lot of the designs are actually created by Bookstagrammers, which I think is a cool collaboration. Um, and then, ooh, there's a button. Maybe it's a spare, actually. So I decided to go with the one that has a typewriter on because it just feels right. <laughs> I feel like I need to go here for you guys to actually see this. Ooh, this is fun. This is what it looks like inside. Is this fluffy material it's really soft you can kind of see how it is oh yeah there is a button right here and it would button on this side so i'm wearing a really like chubby <laughs> sweater so maybe not the smartest idea but that's how the back looks like of the one that i went for let me wrap myself in it so you pretty much <laughs> you pretty much cocoon yourself in it this is perfect for some antisocial cocoon time while reading. If you're wondering, the lining is 100% Sherpa and the exterior is 100% polyester. So actually, even more than the actual hood, um, I appreciate that it has a button so you can just like stand up and go get your snack because obviously that is what I'm gonna do. I only stand up for that in the toilet when I read. Not even ashamed to admit it. A bit ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. It does have a tiny bit of shedding from the inside, but I'm thinking it's gonna be one of those that like shed a little bit and then stops, if you know what I mean. Um, just, just like a normal fallout of a blanket. If you ever got a new blanket, probably noticed that. So uh, they're currently out of stock for these, but I do have a link for a giveaway down in the description bar. So it's actually for eight winners. And all you kind of need to do is click on that and put your first name, email, and um, you can actually choose. It's an option, but like you can, if you want to choose um, which blanket you want. It is only open for USA, Canada. Uh, excluding Quebec, uh, UK, Australia, Germany, and Netherlands. So sorry, for, sorry for those who are outside of this area. But um, if you are in those countries, I definitely urge you to submit this an entry if you wanted to check your luck. Eight winners, I think, is kind of a generous number. It is open until the twenty second. But if you don't get it and you still want to buy it, or if uh, I'm thinking they ship worldwide. I think they ship worldwide. Um, if you wanted to buy it, they actually go back on sale on the 23rd of uh, November until the 2nd of December, I think. And that basically guarantees the or ensures the arrival by Christmas. I'll leave, I'll leave their Instagram and everything down below if you wanted to check them out and follow them and see uh, what is what. I appreciate that this is sort of like a, a to, to book people from book people kind of thing, you know. Um, anyway. Was it Thursday? I think it was Thursday. I had my um, appointment and basically I just spent another big amount of money for me um, to be legitimately told what I already knew and nothing new and nothing useful. So it was very discouraging and I had a proper meltdown at the end because this has been like my health thing has been going on since April um this particular thing and it gets very tiresome um especially as it goes like this um and the times that you think like oh my god i'm feeling kind of okay today and then the next day you're like bad again it takes a toll on your mentality just in general so i had like a really really rough day actually so logan was supposed to be away this weekend but he stayed because he was worried about me and we're kind of planning on going to finally see the Joker, which we said we're gonna do for so long and just never did. But I think we're gonna do that today. But yesterday, during my lunch break and uh, during my, uh, like, after work, I think it was like seven hours in total, I started working on the Magical Readathon for December, finally. Because it was actually starting to stress me out and I was like, I need to get on this because, like, getting a bit stressful. 
And good thing I did because that was just like, there's something that's gonna be like chapters. So there's gonna be five chapters in total and I've only done one. And I think it wasn't like the hardest one to set up to begin with. At least I kind of, I suppose it would took me a while to figure out how I'm gonna do that. So now I kind of know how I'm gonna do that. Um, I can move on to the other chapters. Boy, this is gonna take me a while, which is ridiculous because I didn't need to do that because like, for the person that's gonna be experiencing it, it's gonna take legitimately like less than a minute to go through it and it's taking me so long to set it up but um i'm gonna go and make a trip to the oh, why what <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> what, what? what are you about i'm not editing this out by the way <laughs> that made you stop <laughs> just no it's having a party in the background yeah but yeah, I'm gonna make a trip to the post office. I'm gonna, <laughs> um, yeah, trip to the post office to send out um, the four bookmark sets that were won all over on the Moonlight Library Instagram. Then the giveaway box that um, Holly won. The postcards for the Patreons on the G Army tier that joined in October. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go run now and I'll update you on anything if there's anything to. Uh... Hmm? <laughs> Would you like to say something? Disgusting! <laughs> okay. Just ran. Any kind of symbol or Just or random, si randomly sitting there in the corner. Yeah. Hey, boys. Why? <laughs> Any moment as soon as he's getting his nails clipped. Mm. He's nails. just afraid. <laughs> it's your turn soon. <laughs> That blanket is seriously cozy. I've actually stayed reading um, Kings of the Wild uh, from basically the moment I woke up, which was pretty early today, until now with like occasional breaks for like eating and cooking and doing laundry and all the Sunday things. So I've started in 209 um, and I'm now here. So I read like 120 pages. Um, I'm about to start chapter 37. Well, not about to start actually. I was kind of thinking like, oh, maybe I can finish it because uh, I think it kind of stops somewhere here. But I do really need to get on with the readathon prep. So, because I didn't do any yesterday, I just couldn't really focus. So, I think I'm gonna switch up to doing that. But I think I have a very, very odd <laughs> relationship with this book. Um, it's definitely taking me so long. I think, I think I'm actually understanding as to why I feel the way I feel about this book, but I think I'm gonna save those thoughts until I read, until the end. Going from like 100, I absolutely love this bit, and really enjoying the writing, to moments where I'm like, oh my god, I want to just DNF this book. <laughs> I love it but I hate it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to set up chapter two or start setting up chapter two <laughs> of um, the readathon. So this shit here. Um, you're like A3 maps. I'm showing you the other side to not spoil you with things. Chapter one took me around seven hours. So <laughs> I do not have that time, but maybe I'll be a bit faster with this one. Who knows? Um, but me and Logan are gonna see that joker today i feel like i've said that so many times and we keep like delaying it i have my have my coke to power me through this <laughs> and let's do it most importantly cat approved blanket <laughs> you enjoying that zeus getting cat hair all over there huh doing your duty Good morning. I feel like I always look so rough in the morning. The movie ended up quite late yesterday, so I didn't really update you, but I really liked it. Um, I think it's one of the best movies I've seen in a while. Same with Logan. I think Logan liked it a lot. I loved one particular scene where it showed in his note bag, when he, uh, notebook when he said, is it the funniest or saddest? I don't remember. Something, let's say the saddest. The saddest thing about having mental illness is that people expect you to act as if you don't. And I thought that was very, I thought it was like pretty much the key of, like the key message of the movie. Because I cannot switch off the 
psychologist brain in me. Well, I do appreciate the message a lot. I just think that in this particular case, obviously, it's very extremist and um, I understand that, like I, I really do. But sometimes I wish that they maybe did that without dragging mental illness in this because especially when it's especially when it's towards uh, aggressive behavior because actually <laughs> mental illness people with mental illness really are not aggressive they really really are not aggressive and i feel like <clears throat> there is still a stigma that something outside of the spectrum or something a bit less familiar behavior wise or anything mental health equals danger because people don't understand it's like a different social cue behavior and like constant image of danger um and you know need to avoid that person or need to like keep an eye on them and that like hollywood stigma portrayal of mental illness as something dangerous obviously this kind of just strengthen it but i do appreciate the i do appreciate the focus on the society treating him like that that drove him to be or act as he did and obviously a lot of other stuff <laughs> but i feel like it just could have been done without dragging mental health in it um it could have just been well illness not health it could have just been their behavior towards him that drove him to be like that you know um yeah i just feel like it doesn't help the stereotype but I can look past it and see how beautiful the movie was <laughs> and like the message and the whole shebang it was really well done oh my god there's some scenes that I was legitimately having goosebumps so good but I just had to bring it up because I cannot switch that part of my brain off like it's been ingrained in me but yeah I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here um I had an a very rough week i didn't want to talk about it too much i just kind of want to go on and like be my happiest self when i can here in full transparency had a very very rough week so i don't again i don't know how much there is but i did do some reading so that's good i'm hoping to possibly because it's monday now i'm hoping to possibly finish finally finish the book up and I just have so many other things going on because me and Logan are working on some projects together for the Moonlight Library. Um, so that's taking a lot of the time. Work has been absolutely crazy because there's something going on backstage and stuff. Um, there's just a lot going on there. And a lot of my time is taken out by magical readathon prep. I just feel like there's no time to read, which is fine. But I'm just worried that these are gonna become really boring for you guys to watch. So let me know if you guys don't mind these obviously being more like vlogs in general than reading vlogs. Or if you prefer that I maybe would just skip some weeks and vlog mainly on um, weeks that I do have more time for reading. Let me know what you prefer. But I hope you guys are so very well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited for the readathon. I'm nervous about this one in particular, but I'm excited, tentatively excited. Thank you. I appreciate you so, so much. Have a wonderful week ahead of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.